Hey, this is our last concept for momentum, uh, and it's conservational momentum. So first we start with momentum uh, by definition, mass times velocity. What was between two folks uh, in this bubble soccer, right? Who was gonna have, who was gonna win? Well, if it was Rashawn, right? Uh, who's super fast, but not as massive, I'll go in against Mark McGee, who's also pretty freaking fast. Um, but say he was just standing, maybe going at a walk, we could figure out how fast Rashawn would have to go to beat, right, uh, Mark McGee, right? Uh, so depending on the mass, maybe it's double the mass. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, he'd have to go double the speed. Rashawn would have to go double the speed to make an impact on uh, Mark, okay? Um, this is a concept, so that was momentum, change momentum. Um, as far as impulse, when we had two objects colliding, they actually experienced equal and opposite forces. That was Newton's third law. So regardless of whether it's a bug and a car windshield, when they collide, they experience the same force. The, the car exerts the same force on the bug as the bug exerts on the car. It just so happens structurally the bug doesn't make it, okay? Um, and then we talked about impulse, force applied over a certain amount of time. If it's the same change momentum, right, if I take a longer period of time, it's less force. So if I am driving 55 miles an hour and I come to an abrupt stop, whoop, I go forward. If I come to a gradual stop, the force I experience on the seatbelt is almost non-existent or existent, right? We've all experienced a start or abrupt stop versus a gradual stop, okay? Uh, so now this is the last thing, conservation of momentum. Uh, we've had conservation of energy, the amount of energy before, Right at the beginning of a situation uh, is equal to the amount of energy at the end. So the top of the pendulum, like if I held the pendulum up, it has a certain amount of energy. And at the bottom, it has a certain amount of energy. At the top was all potential. At the bottom, I can't even see that. At the top was all potential and at the bottom was all kinetic. You could set those two values equal to each other, mgh equals one half mv squared, and you could find how fast you should be going. Um, so this time it's conservation of momentum. So there's laws of conservation uh, in physics that help us make predictions, and it's pretty awesome. Uh, one, that it could be made uh, through observations, and two, that we can use it to help uh, have fun, uh, and that's in roller coasters. Uh, conservation is also uh, used for other things, uh, but also um, regarding uh, safety and car safety with conservation and momentum. Uh, so uh, basically the total momentum before the collision equals the total momentum after the equation. Now, the situation here is instead of one object in energy, we've got two objects colliding or starting together and exploding, okay? I, so uh, I'll show two in a video, kind of a supplemental video uh, later. Uh, so basically, you'd have two objects, and I'm going to show what I call an explosion object A and object B, okay? And they are actually VA equals zero and VB equals zero. And I'm gonna show I have two carts that have a, a spring-released uh, lever that'll pop, right? And they'll experience the same force. So if they experience the same force or impulse, right, they'll start heading off in two different directions. Uh, you could think of that as uh, two people sitting in roller chairs uh, and pushing off each other. Who's going to go further? The lighter person. They're going to go faster and further. Uh, even on ice skates, facing each other and pushing off. Uh, the heavier person, they're going to experience the same force, so the heavy person is not going to go as fast after that push. Uh, so A and B. And so there's a new velocity A and there's a new velocity b. Okay, now I have chose this, so basically mass a is a single mass, and mass b is double the mass. So mass and double the mass, okay? So what's the momentum before, right? They're not moving, so there's zero momentum. Zero momentum for a, and zero momentum for b, it's going to be equal to the momentum, the mass, and VA primed, and double the mass, right, VB primed. 
Now I know the primes and the letters, that's the hardest part about physics is all these letters, all these tick marks, etc. But we can make a connection with the speeds at which they'll leave. Okay, so I'm going to move this over. M B A equals 2M B B. So right now, what's the negative mean? Right? It just means if right is positive, A is heading off in the negative. Okay, so I, uh, if I do algebra, mass goes away, and so VA is equal to double, right, VB, okay? So who's going faster, right? Who's going faster? So I'm just going to do this, okay, and cancel, right? VB is going half the speed as VA. So we, let's see if we can get that. Okay. VA, right, in the leftward direction is going, or VB in the rightward direction is half the speed as VA. Okay, if you can kind of make that connection, right? What happens if we triple the mass? What happens if the mass were three here and two masses there? Uh, I'll go through kind of a demo with that to make some predictions, which is kind of, to me, kind of fun. Physics, yeah, it give us, gives us the opportunity to use these principles to start making predictions, okay? Uh, so that's about explosions, and then I'll demo uh, something for, uh, I'll demo something for, uh, like, when they're coming at each other and colliding, okay? I'm back. Sorry, I forgot to emphasize one last point, okay? Um, if I have zero momentum before, I have to have one object going this direction in the negative direction and one going into the positive direction, so when they add up, they equal zero. Zero before, and if I add them up, this will be a negative, this will be a positive, they will cancel each other out. Double the velocity, right? and just a velocity, right? I'll have a 2m, and I'll have a 2m times the velocity, okay? So they'll end up canceling out because they're going the opposite directions, all right? Uh, so let me, I'm gonna erase, show things coming at each other, uh, and uh, just kind of explain uh, how to analyze if it complies with the conservation of energy or, or momentum or violates it, okay? So now, uh, what I really want to do is go back to the screen. Uh, you've got two concept builders. Uh, they're calling law enforcement. So what we're trying to find out is which one violates the law of conservation of momentum. Um, in these, right, it's law enforcement based on explosions. So these two spring-loaded carts are at rest, low friction track. The spring is released, pushing the carts away from each other. The three situations are shown. Identify any situation that violates the law of mon a momentum conservation. So before, they're both sitting still. I've got three times the mass and one times the mass, right? So mass and three mass. At the end, I'm going to have to have them add up to zero. So which one of these scenarios, which one of these scenarios uh, violates conservation momentum? Well, before, I've got zero momentum. Okay, in all three situations. These arrows are trying to show velocity. Okay, direction matters. So I've got this one, 3m times 3v, 1, 2, 3. That's 9v in the negative and 1 times 1, 1v in the positive. This should not. Okay, so I'm going to double check. I've got 3 mass times 2v, so that's 6 total. And I've got 1, 2, 3, and 2v, so that's 6 that way. So 6 to the left and 6 to the right, basically 6mv, uh, and 6mv to the right, that meets the conservation momentum. Uh, and then we have the two masses versus one, one mass going two meters per, or two, I guess, velocities, and then two masses going one velocity. So this is a 2mv and this is a 2mv, they comply. This is the one that violates it, therefore it's been put in prison check your answers, okay? 
So uh, I can continue. It's going to give us pretty similar things. Uh, so main menu, yes, return. Uh, you have got the choice of either nine of the wizard or, or three and six. So law enforcement explosions. Well, this is going to be law enforcement and then they stick. So if they hit, hit each other, they collide before and then they stick and they keep moving. It's still the same. Okay, conservation of momentum is conserved in all things. When they hit, they come at each other and bounce off each other. Conservation of momentum applies. When they start at zero and there's a force acting between them, like a spring-loaded launcher, and they shoot off in different directions, momentum's conserved. And if they're coming at each other, they stick and they move off. That is also conservation of momentum. All collisions. It's really cool. So I have to find the one that violates. I'm starting with one, two, three, four and zero, so zero momentum here, four times three, or 12. So I have to have a total of 12 mass times volume. So I've got one, two, three, four total masses, and now one, two, three, so that would be 12, this complies. So one, two, three, this is nine, and that's zero. One, two, three, four, five at two, this is 10. That should be the violation. One, two, three, four times one. Okay, one, two, three, four, and one. So this is the one that violates. Okay, so just testing your understanding of conservation of momentum. Okay, uh, let's go to the main menu here. Uh, so 12 was level or four and eight. Okay, uh, that's all I'm asking. And if uh, I change my expectations, I'll put it in the homework description. Okay. Hope all is well, and hope uh, you got a great uh, appreciation for momentum.